Okay, imagine this. You're lying in bed and you realize you're awake, but you can't move. Your body is frozen. And then feel the presence beside you or around you. Sleep paralysis can be a terrifying experience, especially when it's never happened before. To put it another way, imagine taking your claustrophobia and multiplying it by 10. You're stuck and can't move, and you start seeing, and maybe hearing or feeling, things that aren't there. But do we know what's actually happening when you have sleep paralysis? And is there anything you can do to snap yourself out of it? Sleep paralysis is like this limbo area between REM sleep and being awake. When you fall into REM sleep, your body enters a paralyzed state called atonia. This prevents you from acting out your dreams since REM sleep is when things are most vivid, most real. But atonia ends when you wake up, allowing you to move again. Sleep paralysis happens when the atonia doesn't wear off, when your body wakes up, but your mind doesn't. While you're stuck in bed, the vivid mental imagery of REM sleep continues. There are actually three kinds of sleep paralysis hallucinations you can experience. First is an intruder hallucination. This involves the perception of a dangerous presence in the room. Next is chest pressure hallucinations. This involves a suffocating feeling in the chest and it usually goes hand in hand with intruder hallucinations. Or you might have out of body hallucinations, what's also known as vestibular motor hallucinations. This involves the feeling of flying or having an out of body experience. Regardless of how it manifests, about 90% of sleep paralysis episodes are associated with fear, perhaps triggered by your fight or flight response, except you're paralyzed and can't do either. Now, the causes of sleep paralysis are a bit mysterious. Most studies returned mixed results since there's no way to trigger sleep paralysis or recreate it in a controlled setting. We do know that other underlying sleep issues can cause it, like sleep apnea and insomnia. Anxiety and PTSD have also drawn pretty strong lines to sleep paralysis, but we can't say they cause it for sure. Other studies found that people who daydream and disassociate are more likely to experience sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis can be a terrifying experience that can also lead to a cascade of bad effects. You might have anxious feelings about going to bed, which can lead to insomnia. And insomnia, of course, results in a number of health problems. There isn't a cure for sleep paralysis, but you can take it as a warning sign for other sleep conditions like sleep apnea or narcolepsy. You can potentially avoid triggering sleep paralysis by practicing good sleep hygiene, like sticking to a consistent schedule, keeping a relaxing bedtime routine, and putting your phone away a half hour before bed. But when it is happening, there's no proven way to snap out of it. Your body will wake up on its own, or you might be able to pull yourself out mentally. So the next time you find yourself frozen in bed, remember that it's just a dream. Your body may have projected itself out of REM sleep, but your mind is still stuck in a vivid dream. It might be time to see a doctor if it becomes a recurring problem. There could be something else causing your sleep paralysis episodes. Thanks for watching everyone. Sleep well.